U Mintri Rangba Kajala U Konrad Ki Sangma Mataka Arpu Artri Unai Wing Arachar Arpu Ar U Lai Thu Bakatanat Pulit Mikhalia Kala U Jawa Daka Ejahar Halor Kajing Shasiat Yap Ki Riu Pai Ba Hamukro West Jantia Hills Habakran Chikila Pathai Kubor U Konrad U La Ong Ru Baka Kunhun Mintri Kansa Shim Ya Ki Sien Jam Ban Le Hakabaya Dei Baka Ni Kajing Jia U Konrad U La Pen Benaru Baka Sor Kajala Kan A Jing Arap Marsan Lak Tengka Shaki Baha Ying Jong Kitu Ki Balak Lan Haka Ni Kajing Jia Nalor ke niu menteri orang bau lapan benar, baka sorkar kan wengno, ya barok kijat tamasa kum si benta, banken mau buram, ya kitu kibala kelan hne kastem. Shuk shuk nak kelang menteri orang bau lapan tebru, baka sorkar jela, kan selit ya kendo yang menteri ketenat kampok ying u Amit Shah, jong ke sorkar pedeng. Today, on the 22nd of November, an unfortunate incident occurred at Mukro village in West Genti Hills district where six persons have died due to firing by Assam police and Assam forest guards. I would like to express my deepest condolences to the bereaved families who have lost their loved ones. As per the reports, a truck carrying timber was pursued by the forest, by the Assam forest guards with the Assam police and was detained by the Assam police and Assam forest guards at Mukro village in West Jente Hills district. On hearing this, People from Mukro village gathered in large numbers and surrounded the Assam police and Assam forest guards. This led to firing by the Assam police in which five persons from Meghalaya died. One person, one Assam forest guard also died due to the firing. The injured persons have been shifted to Boroto PHC and Yalong Civil Hospital. On hearing of the incident, the district magistrate, the superintendent of police and other magistrates rushed to the spot. Inquest has been conducted by the magistrate. The Honorable Home Minister, Government of Meghalaya, has also reached the spot of the incident. An FIR has been registered by the Meghalaya police. The names of the deceased who died on the spot are number one, Thal Shadab, male, 45 years, number two, Nikashi Dhar, male, 65 years, Number three, Sik Talang, male, 55 years. And number four, one unknown male forest guard of the government of Assam. The names of those who succumbed to their injuries in the hospital are number one, Tal Nartyam, male, 40 years, who died at Boroto. Number two, Chirup Sumer, male 40 who died at Jawai. The state government strongly condemns the incident wherein the Assam police and Assam forest guards entered Meghalaya and resorted to unprovoked firing. Government of Meghalaya will take all steps possible to ensure that justice is done an action is taken against all those responsible for this inhuman act. As a mark of respect and mourning for the deceased, the state government has decided to cancel all official festivals, including the Cherry Blossom Festival. An ex gratia compensation of rupees 5 lakhs each to the next of kin of the deceased 
shall be released. The cabinet <coughs> will be meeting today in the evening at 5.30 to take and decide on the next course of action which the government of Meghalaya will take in respect to this particular incident that took place. At this point in time, I would like to appeal to all the citizens of the state to pray for the departed souls and especially for the families who have lost their loved ones. I would also like to appeal to the citizens of the state to maintain peace and harmony in the state. The state government is taking all steps necessary to ensure that law and order is maintained in the state. We also would like to pray for all those families especially who have lost their loved ones and those whose family members have been injured in this incident. Just before this press conference, we have called different leaders from our traditional heads, Rambashnongs, our religious leaders from different religious groups and different members of civil society and different NGOs to discuss, to appeal, to inform them and to ask them that we need to stand together in these difficult times as a state and as citizens. These are challenging times, but with society and with all of us being together, we will overcome this situation. And as I mentioned, the government of Meghalaya will be firm and will take necessary action, whatever that is required, to ensure that justice is done and those people who are responsible for this our action are taken against them. We are going to have a cabinet meeting in the evening and uh, different points are being discussed, are going to be discussed in the cabinet meeting. We have already laid down four or five points, but uh, without taking a final call with the cabinet, uh, it will not be appropriate for me to spell out all those points. But I can tell you one thing, that uh, we will be going and meeting the Honourable Home Minister and uh, placing our demands and placing the necessary points that we have from our side uh, to the Government of India for necessary action. Will you be calling out the second round of border talks following the incident? The talks, of course, the incident that happened is an incident that had not got a direct connection with the border talks as such. And obviously the border talks are very important for us. But given the current situation and the current time and this particular incident that happened, it has affected the overall situation. And hence, at this point in time, how things were in the past is not going to be the same. And therefore, we need the confidence building. What kind of actions will be taken as we move forward? What kind of different steps will be taken and how we will be able to make sure that justice is done. All these will determine the future course of action. And hence, we expect that both government of India and government of Assam will take the necessary steps to ensure that justice is done. And based on those situations and those demands and those actions being taken, we will discuss and we will decide the further course of action. Can you tell us about the presence of our Meghalaya police personnel there? It appears as, were they there? There were, Meghalaya police was present out there, but the numbers were not as big as the Assam counterpart because the situation was unexpected. We never expected the situation to be there. The recent uh, sanctioning of the Boroto uh, outpost, which has been done, was supposed to be inaugurated on 25th of this month. And uh, right before that, this incident has happened. And knowing the sensitivity of the location, we had sanctioned the Baroto outpost uh, precisely because we knew that this kind of situation and tension is always there in that area. And uh, hence, uh, the numbers were lesser. 
And as I said, uh, this is completely unprovoked. And as I mentioned earlier, that uh, the Assam police were pursuing uh, some uh, trucks carrying timber. And uh, that pursuing led to them coming into Meghalaya, against which the public had reacted and uh, surrounded. And in large number, they had come out. And that's what led to this firing taking place. Can you tell us, Mukro, where does it stand? Is it disputed? Is it uh... absolutely not? There is no dispute in the Mukro village. And uh, in fact, as I mentioned, the incident where it happened was very much within Meghalaya.